Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop effect series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created this radial background inside of Photoshop, right? If you've not gotten your smart premium designer asset, it's still very much available. Make sure you check the description of this video to get yours. And also, if you've not subscribed to my channel, now is the right time to actually hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the post notifications so that you miss any of the things I will be uploading in this channel. Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is um, create file. Click on file new. I'll be using 4x5. Just click on create. Nothing special. I'm going to click on adjustment layer, this icon here, and I'm going to click on gradients, right? So from the gradients, the first thing I want to do is use the gradient of my choice. Of course, I'm just going to minimize all this and I'm going to select this orange, under orange. So this is what I'm using, right? So the next thing I want to do is make sure that your foreground and your background color is set to black and white. If it's not, make sure you press D on your keyboard to revert it to black and white. Click on gradients adjustment layer gradient and this time go over to where you have um, basics black and white like this so you can move this upward like this or you can balance it up make it let it be in the middle like this and when you are done click ok like this so basically this is what you have here like this next thing you want to do with the layers you selected go to filter go to distort and select wave convert to smart objects and make sure you follow all my settings inside here right make sure you follow my settings and make sure the type you're selecting is square please square right like this and when you're done click ok and you should have this when you do it the right way now the next thing you want to do is to make it more interesting go back to filter and this time select distorts and polar coordinates now under polar coordinates, make sure you're selecting rectangle to polar like this and click OK. And immediately you do that, this is what you get, right? Now go over to adjustments uh, and, no, uh, um, and select screen. That's blend mode, please. No adjustment, blend mode and select screen. Now to make the effect more dominant, Ctrl G to make it a duplicate copy of this. Select the two of them and press Ctrl G to group them. So you can rename this as um, Radial Effect. Like this. So I'm just going to change this to Radial Effect like this. And easy peasy. So the next thing I want to do is I'll go over to where I have my image. You can see I'm taking it from the graphics um, design assets. The PNG image. This image, if you've gotten your asset, it's inside of the bundle. So you can use yours. So I'm just going to drag this inside like this and um, this is the image of the little boy excited click enter to place it inside of course it has a background so how do you get rid of it right click and rasterize this first and when it's rasterized click on remove background and let photoshop do the rest Right, selecting subject, you can see it's working on it. And um, this should be done in no time. And voila, you can see that the background is gone. So you can then choose to increase the size like this, take it up like this, increase the size, bring this here. While you still increase the size like this, position this well like this and i'm just going to manually drag this down so this is where i want it to be right so i'm going to create a realistic shadow for this so how do i do that select this and create a new layer under the image make sure your, your foreground color is set to black select the brush make sure your caps lock is not on make sure this is the size of your brush click, click twice like this and ctrl t hold down shift and bring this down like this right and i'm just going to make it slightly bigger like this when i've done click enter i'm going to reduce the opacity here like this right so i'm just going to move this in place and this is what i have right so i can move alongside make sure when you're moving you're moving the shadow to make it realistic right so i'm just going to leave this here and um you can choose to group it or whichever ways you want to you can go and change the gradient here 
Now I'm going back to, I can use the blue. You can see how it has changed. So you can come here and change this anytime and use any gradient of your choice. And um, you get the same effect. But for me, I'm just going to come here. I think I'm going towards the, you can use, you can see this is the pink family. You can use any color from this region also. Or you can decide to go to the green. I think I love this particular green. So I'm going to use this because it blends well with orange. So I'm going to leave it like this. All right, guys, if you've liked this video, if you've loved this, gained something from this, make sure you forget, you don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. All right? I'll see you in the next video just up ahead. Ciao.